Welcome TDC viewers. In this video, I will be pre-treating a graphite electrode for lead dioxide electrode deposition. Pre-treatment of graphite or any other material prior to electrode deposition is necessary because we want an adherent deposit to form on the substrate. First of all, we need to obtain a graphite electrode from a carbon zinc dry cell. In this case, we have a 6 volt carbon zinc dry cell. Cut open the top of the battery and you will see that there are four separate cells connected together. Obtain one of these and dismantle it to retrieve the graphite rod. There are a few videos on YouTube describing these cells, so I'll skip over this part. Once you have retrieved the graphite electrode, wash it thoroughly with water and dry. To start the pretreatment process, we need a container which holds a capacity of about 120 ml. A 10% volume per volume nitric acid solution. A 10% weight per volume sodium hydroxide solution. A stainless steel electrode. The graphite electrode and a computer power supply unit that delivers 5 volts and 20 amps. Okay, get the 10% weight per volume sodium hydroxide solution and pour contents into the container. Next, get the graphite electrode and attach it to the positive terminal and then get the stainless steel electrode and attach it to the negative terminal on the power supply. Immerse electrodes in the sodium hydroxide solution and turn the power on. The length of time of the treatment process takes 30 minutes to complete. As the experiment runs, the solution fills up with black particles of carbon. This is normal as the surface of the graphite is being thoroughly cleaned and etched. After 30 minutes, turn the power off and remove the cleaned graphite electrode and rinse with Miller Q water. Following the rinse with Miller Q water, dip the graphite electrode in a 10% volume per volume nitric acid solution for 10 minutes. After the nitric acid treatment, remove the graphite electrode and rinse with Miller Q water thoroughly and leave it to dry. It's a little hard to see, but you can observe the rough texture of the graphite electrode. There we have it, TDC viewers. We have anodically treated a graphite electrode with sodium hydroxide. Now this electrode is ready for electrode deposition.